Hi, welcome back to Great Smoky Mountains TV. I'm Dave Mann, and we are just outside of Cherokee one more time. As you enter the Blue Ridge Parkway, you'll go up past Rattlesnake Tunnel, and you'll see a lookout over the Thomas Divide. And what we do here, every once in a while on a clear night, and tonight we have a beautiful night in the mountains, we look at the light orbs and try to figure out what they are. Because according to a lot of people, they don't know what they are. Some try to guess. Could it be some kind of electric charge from the granite plates? Could it be a gas of some type? No, there's, there's no gas up there. Bigfoot running with lanterns? Uh, it could be just about anything, I guess. But it is interesting to watch, and they're here all the time. We're going to take a look at a few of them, and then we're going to interview some of the people that are here who are uh, friends of mine, actually, and uh, get their views on it. There it is. Did you get that one? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. It's not Holy crap, that was bright. Like that. That was like a, a flash. Are we? Like that's not like a deer. No, no there's nothing. Trust me, there is nothing that done GPS. There's nothing that can tell you. That looked like. You're looking, a at, you're looking like, at like where we live in the yeah. mountains. Mm -hmm. The mountain would be like that, but the curve came mm -hmm. down it, so you yeah. would see that stuff happening. Mm -hmm. You go down. The lights do go down the mountains. Right, who's this? JR. Oh, there's another little guy next to him. Yeah. Kula Lodge, a nice restaurant halfway up the big volcano on Maui. Mm. <coughs> oh, there it is. They did go up the volcano. Maybe it's a descendant of Ben Ballinger. Yeah. Cornelius? See, this is where Joel went. They, they got the rental car and they drove up to the, um, what do you call it, the volcano. Those are multiple, James. The path. Oh, I bet she's having issues with him. Oh. 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 No. Look at Look at Come here, look at this. Oh, There's two children. There's two, one on top of each Three. other. Oh, you can Three. see it. Yeah, look here, I got it zoomed in. Oh, you got it on this. <laughs> see, there's actually two of them. Look at her. Brooke is so much more tan. Mm. But, I mean, this is nice. They're mm. on top of the volcano. And this is the restaurant. Oh. Yeah, it's cool. There it is. Mm -hmm. Nice restaurant halfway up. Oh, halfway I've up. never seen one stay on that long. We gotta go. The whole we'll zoom on out so where you can. Mean, they normally well, come and go off. Well, they're last yeah. year there. Yeah, you oh, pull back and you can't hardly see it. Yeah, Great. I can Great. see it from here though. <coughs> see, that's it's still going. That's crazy. Hard to focus on something in the dark that far mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like they are, David? Yeah, you see it's two actually two different lights. And there's mm -hmm. another one flashing over there. Right here. What? 
Joining me right now on Great Smoky Mountains TV, my friend John Stockton. John, you've been up here before with me looking at these lights, haven't you? I have. We didn't have much luck the last time. Well, we had quite a bit. I mean, uh, it, it was actually viewed by a lot of people on our uh, on our site here. And uh, maybe tonight we'll get a, get a few more. I know um, you've been here for a little while. Have you seen any tonight? Many, many really? more than uh, the last time I was here, which was probably two years ago. Uh-huh. You know, one of the most interesting stories about this, my wife was here with two friends about, gosh, I'd say 10 years ago, and one came right up behind where I'm standing and was just staring at them and then took off. I mean, just came up, stopped, and went right by. So what are they? Who knows? But uh, they are entertaining, right? Yes, sir. All right, John. <laughs> let's enjoy it and see what, uh, see what we can see. Joining me now is Karen Stockton, the wife of John, who we just uh, talked to. Karen, you've been here uh, many times with us before. Many times with you and your wonderful wife, Jill, yes. And we've seen quite a few lights. What, seriously, what do you think this could be, these orbs on the mountain? I believe in the legend. One of the legends is that the women are walking through the mountains with their lanterns and their men never came home after working in the mines. I think they're looking for their men. And how did that legend originate? When did it? I don't know, Dave. Uh -huh. I'll have to look it up again. Maybe in the 1700s, something like that? Really? Okay. Any other thoughts? Not really, but I find when I talk to the lights, they uh -huh. come. Well, I know that some people actually point a light out towards there, and uh, that seems to sometimes activate them. But uh, one time when we were here, we actually saw something like a ufo and it was spinning right over the top of the mountain a small one and it was up there for a long time and faded out faded away but uh thank you for joining us and i love that theory it could be it could be next time next time great smoky mountains tv looking over at the uh, thomas divide here and what's your name jeff donor well jeff uh you have a theory about what these lights might be behind us i do I think the Chamber of Commerce hires a couple guys with lanterns mm -hmm. to come out here a few nights a week mm -hmm. during tourist season. Uh -huh. What about not during tourist season? Well, you don't see them doing not. Yes, we, yes, we do. <laughs> so that theory's kind of. Any other theories you might have? Been good for a while yeah. there. <laughs> any other theories you might have? Seriously. Yeah. But, you know, this isn't the only place they see them. I mean, Tennessee, along the railroad tracks, you have the brown mountain lights. In Texas, the entire state goes down a highway down there. I forgot what they're called. But you can see them every night, and they're moving along over the highways. And there's been a full documentary on that. So mm -hmm. it's just one of the uh, interesting phenomena uh, of living here in the Great Smoky Mountains. Sure. It's unexplainable right now. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. Okay. There's so many things to do in the Great Smoky Mountains, and looking at the orbs over here over the Thomas Divide is just one of them. But this may be the most interesting. If you get a chance, right outside of Cherokee, come on up the parkway, and uh, right past Rattlesnake Tunnel, you'll see it on the left, the overlook. Hope to see you uh, enjoying yourself in the Great Smoky Mountains. I'm Dave Mann.